Hi, I am Jay Benham, a museum educator at Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. And this is Bridging the Gap, a series of digital art engagements. In this segment, we'll be looking at John Quick to See Smith's Mischief Ended Land series. It will be helpful to have a pen and pencil to write with to respond to the activities in this video. Please pause the video to collect your material. Before we start discussing this work, this work of art, let's take a few moments to look closely at it. Start by letting your gaze wander around the work of art, taking notice of some of the, some of the details, such as the color the artist used and objects you recognize in the painting. Please pause the Bridge in the Gap video to give yourself a few moments to look. This is a mixed media painting. Mixed media refers to the different art materials the artist used, such as paint, printmaking, drawing, and textured material. It could also be called a collage because she has composed with various materials such as newspaper clippings, photographs, drawings, paint, and cartoon figures. This is John Quick to See Smith, an enrolled member of the Salish and Kotatiya tribes. If you direct your attention to the upper right hand corner, you will see how she confronts stereotyping of Native American culture with humor. She has taken an ad out of a publication that depicts a cartoon of a native person and she puts it right back on view for the viewer to see the absurdity of the stereotyping. She states, I love taking what the white community does and says and then recreating it and giving it a whole new meaning. That's ending humor when you turn it around. John Quick to See Smith refers to her work of art from the Land End in Land series as a narrative landscape, as well as the life and history encompassed within it. This painting, Mischief, speaks to the destruction of the artist's Native American culture's livelihood and culture in the, in the environment. The colorful paint simultaneously evokes the lively brushstrokes of American painting of the 1940s and 50s. Now that you've had time to look at this work, let's dwell a little deeper into what your thoughts and opinions are about this painting and what the artist is saying in her narrative. Take another look at the painting and what other objects do you find relating to the Native American culture? Please pause the Bridging the Gap video to make your observations and to make some notes. Why do you think the artist placed the black and white line drawing in the middle of a painting? What does it have to do with the indigenous peoples? Please pause the video to make your observations and to make your notes. As early as Mrs. Smith could remember, she wanted to be an artist. In high school, she decided to go to college and take art. Her college art professor told her she could draw better than the men in her class, but she should go into another field. He said, you will never make it in the art world. Why? Because women are not artists. Well, <clears throat> we are fortunate she didn't listen to his advice because today she is an accomplished artist, political activist, and curator. She has, she has established a better understanding of the world through the help of a Native American perspective. 
She says she is not always successful in getting her story across, <clears throat> but she feels it's important to speak up when you believe in something so strongly. Thank you for watching. This has been Bridging the Gap from Crystal Bridges.